for Cox? Yes. Mr. Cox. Okay, sir, you are charged with the third degree felony, evading arrest or detention, prior convictions for that same offense. Bail is set in the case at 15,000. You ask for the court appointment of a lawyer, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Dixon, sir, uh, you are charged with uh, two different offenses. Right. One, sir, third degree felony, possession of methamphetamine, bail set 12,000. Okay. The other, fraudulent or use or possession of identifying information. Right. Bail set in that third degree felony at 15,000. Okay. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer, sir? Yes. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, FDR Bongo. Nope. I, perhaps I should have mentioned, if you're going to get a PR bond, I will tell you about it. If not, it ain't happening. Not now. But like I said before, talk to your lawyer. Third degree felony. Can I get a PR bond? No. Cameron Vogel. Vogel, sir, there are three matters with regard to yourself. One, state jail felony. Uh, possession of controlled substance. Bail set at ten thousand. Second, possession of uh, identifying information of another. A state jail felony. Bail set at ten thousand. And lastly, theft. A uh, class A misdemeanor. It's a bond increase out of uh, figure out the court here. With is with regard to those electric guitars. This out of uh, one of the county courts all the bail's now set at six thousand. Okay. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer, sir? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Yes. Evan Wajalo. Yes, sir. Mr. Wajalo, sir, you're charged with the class A misdemeanor assault causing bodily injury, class A misdemeanor. Bail set in this case at uh, ten thousand. And sir, uh, based on the recommendation of the personal bond office, you are to be released on a personal bond in this matter. It will happen sometime this afternoon or this evening. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, I needed to ask you, do you request the court appointment of a lawyer? Um, are you able to hire one? No, not. In which case, do you request one court appointed? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Hodge? Do we not have Mr. Hodge? Wake up, sir. Hi, Mr. Hodge. Mr. Hodge, sir, you're charged with the state jail felony burglary of a building. The uh, bail in the matter is set $7,500. <laughs> You asked for the court appointment of a lawyer, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Lanning, sir, there's several matters here. There's a possession of controlled substance, a uh, second degree felony. This one supposedly occurring February 19th. Bail set 20,000 in that one. Then, sir, there's a rating arrest or detention, class A misdemeanor. Is that, I've never heard of that. Sir, supposedly this happened on uh, 21 February at uh, 7.45 a.m. I was here in jail. Well, they claim. Uh, I've been here since the 19th. Sir. I understand. The, the, the way that can happen is I can grab the wrong piece of paper. Oh. Which is what happened. <laughs> no, not at all, sir. You don't have to. Thank you for bringing it up. Uh, you, that is the only one I actually have on you at this time. So, thank you very much. Very good, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good afternoon. That guy's so bad, even his hairline's running away. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Mendoza. Good. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, two Mendoza. Thank you. Mr. Christopher, or which one are you? Uh, Stephen. 
Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Sir, uh, you've got a uh, violation of protection order. Yes, sir. I say, Mr. Manor Bail is set at twelve thousand dollars. No. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, sir. And Your Honor, if I may, um, may I request a personal phone? Everyone requests one. That's understood. The answer at this point is no. <laughs> the lawyer, maybe it can get worked out, but not at this point. Okay. And I do need to tell you about something else, sir. You have a couple of class C misdemeanors, traffic patterns, no insurance, running a red light from 2022 uh, in November of that year. Running a red light, no insurance. And these are cases that are filed in the municipal court, the city of Austin. You are going to be released on these with a court date that you will receive on your when you leave here. Whether your case is over, the other case, the most violation of, of a uh, protective order, whether it's over because it was dismissed, because you were sentenced, because you were released on bail, then you will get a copy of some information telling you when to show up at municipal court. You show up and you can try to deal with the matter. Okay. Uh, you have the right to take the thing to trial. You have a right to discuss the case with a prosecutor, see what you can work out. You can hire an attorney, but if you can't do that in that court, you have to represent yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. And may I have a emergency contact call? Or well, to... everybody's going to get a call after this. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Now, Christopher Morales and Boston. Hello, sir. Hello. My name is You're going to need to speak up, please. Before anything, I come in Jesus' name of Nazareth and I seek justice and righteousness. Okay. That's good. Now, sir, you have several matters that have been filed against you. It's a class A misdemeanor. They're all lies. Sir tell you the truth that is going to be resolved in county or district court we are not going to resolve it here evading arrest or detention class a misdemeanor bail set at they just wrote a false police report about a week or two weeks ago and they discarded it and ripped up those papers and let me go in Del valley because they made a false police report against me about two weeks ago in Del Valley. I didn't even have to see a judge nor nothing because my Lord and Savior came and rescued me and sent two angels on behalf of me to escort me in okay. front of the officers. Thank you, but hold on because I need to tell you what these things are. There's a baiting arrest or detention, class A misdemeanor bail set at 5,000. There's a possession of controlled substance, methamphetamine, State jail felony, bail set 7500 There is a harassment, Class B misdemeanor, bail set at 5000 It's a criminal trespass of a habitation. A Class A misdemeanor for bail is set at 10000 Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer in these cases? You said that I could get uh, or call the government or assistance of a government? No, sir. I asked if you request the court appointment of a lawyer. No, but I'm asking earlier, uh, did you state that I could have assistance or call the government or the governor? No, did. I didn't say anything about that. I said people were going to get an opportunity to use the telephone later today. To call the governor? You said a sir, governor assistance or something like that. I did not, sir. Yes, you did. It's on audio or recorded. That's fine. But it ain't happening as far as I know. Now, listen, answer my question. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer? Yes. Thank you. And I seek justice and righteousness. Thank you. As, you, as everyone should. Thank you. You can be seated, sir. Uh, uh, 
No, you're not getting one, not now, but talk to your lawyer. Maybe it can happen. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Marco Antonio Moreno. Hello, Your Honor. Even for good afternoon, sir. Sir, you're charged with uh, driving while intoxicated. A yes. Class B misdemeanor. Yes. Bail is set in that case at uh, three thousand dollars. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer, sir? I don't think I was uh, eligible for one when we when they first brought me in. Well, that's possible, but uh, you still have the right to request it. Uh, and indeed, I do note that they claim you are not eligible, therefore, for such a thing. Uh -huh. But I'm required to ask the question. I'm not required to answer it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I think I'd rather try to get my, my own. Very good, sir. Okay, well, there, just by asking, there's no guarantee that'll happen. They do have to determine that it's uh, that, okay. that you're eligible. But thank you. And... Uh, Thank you very much. What would I be eligible eligible for a PR bond? There is a an amount of money that a person makes that they have determined is eligibility, but you can still make the request for a PR bond. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I thought you just told me that you were interested in hiring your own. Oh, uh, yeah. I just want to figure out the best option at this point. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, Mr. Ryder. Do we have anybody from any other dockets? Um, we've got oh, those last three guys. Torres, Greg, is Marshy. Mr. Gonzalez? That's it. Mr. Gonzalez, sir, you're charged with uh, exposing. It is a uh, Class B misdemeanor. Bail okay. set at 4000 okay. You asked for the court appointment of a lawyer? Um, if I'm able to hire one, can I, can I still get the court appointed one and then hire one later on? Well, if you're able to hire one, you probably need to do okay. that. I'll, I'll get my own lawyer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Greg. Yes, sir. Mr. Greg. Sir, you're charged with uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, second degree felony. Yes, sir. Bail set at 20000 there is an emergency protection order in this case, sir. It is with regard to the alleged uh, victim, Ms. Emily Mendez. Yes, sir. What about uh, she's dropping the charges? What does that look like for me? She don't get to pick. She can make a recommendation. She can ask. But it's, once the case is this far, that's up to the, in this case, the uh, district attorney's office. They may do that, but I cannot guarantee what they're going to do or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, there is an emergency protection order with regard to Ms. Mendez, requiring that you not commit any act of family violence or any stalking with regard to her. Yes, sir. That you don't communicate any threats or harassment to any her or any member of her household or family either directly or indirectly that you do not communicate with her in any matter while this order is in effect now this order is in effect from now until uh, april 24th of this year two months you do not go within 200 yards of one two four three five Desalt Road here in Austin. Do you ask for the court appointment of a lawyer? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I'll get my own lawyer. Okay, sir. Thank you. What, what was my bond again? Bond is set at 20000 sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Hornsby. Hi, Mr. Hornsby. Go on. Borderline PG. Trying to get there. Yes, sir. Now, sir, there's three matters charged against you. Burglary of a habitation, second degree felony. Can I ask you about that? Go ahead. That's my house. If you look at my address and they said burglary, it's how I break into my own house. Well, I don't know, but another judge accepted the charge. If it's wrong, they're going to have to deal with that. Uh -huh. Now, 
It's also criminal mischief, breaking things that were not yours to break. That's a, uh, the burglary of habitation is a second degree felony. The uh, criminal mischief is a class B misdemeanor. Then there's the class A misdemeanor, terroristic threat. In the terroristic threat, there's an emergency protection order that I'll tell you about. This terroristic threat, the bail is 8,000. So you got 20,000, 4,000, and 8,000. In those cases, sir, do you request the court appointment of a lawyer? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, now the uh, emergency protection order is, well, I'm sure I've got the right case here. Yeah, be sure this time, Judge. With regard to the terroristic threat case, it's with regard to Mrs. Carter. Kiara Carter requires that you not commit any act of family violence or any stalking with her, that you don't communicate any threats or harassment to her, any member of her household or family. Yes, sir. And that uh, you don't make any communication with her except through your attorney or someone appointed by the court that you do not go within 200 yards of 1221 North Meister Lane in uh, Pflugerville. Sounds or like a work address of here in Austin. This is a limited time order, sir. It comes from now till midnight on April 24. You'll get a copy of it and I ask that you sign for it. Yes, sir. For your attention, sir, and good luck. Oh, can you give him a bond again? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. No, no, not a problem. The uh, bail and the terroristic threat is 8,000. Bail in the criminal mischief is 4,000. Bail in the burglary of uh, habitation is 20,000. Thank, Thank you, sir. You sound so sweet. I've already told you what they are. Everybody here is waiting to get back and get right. their phone calls and stuff. We're done. Uh, Mr. Pajaro? Yes. You see her? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Erin Fajardo? Sir. Fajardo? Yes. Sir, uh, you're here with regard to five different matters. There's Rumble. One is an unauthorized use of the vehicle. This is a uh, state jail felony, bail set 15,000. You're also charged with uh, unauthorized absence from a community correctional facility, bail set 7,000 in that state jail felony. There's a uh, motion to revoke in a felony DWI, which there is no bail. Then there's an application to revoke in an unlawfully carrying of weapon by a felon where there is no bail. And sir, last, let me double check here. This is, this is also application to revoke probation, but it's, it's, uh, it's a different cause number than the other one. I don't know how that worked out, but you and your attorney will be able to try and get that squared away if it's doubled. Yeah, now, sir, do you ask for the court appointment of lawyers in these cases? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Ryder, thank you, sir. Yes, sir.